Tell me, Addy, what can we see moving in the sky? Everything. What? Everything? Oh, yes. The day that everything stops moving in the universe is the day that time itself will stop. At night, the stars seem to slowly orbit around the pole star. Hello, pole star! This is because the Earth itself orbits and the pole star is just above the North Pole. Hello there, Northy Poly! We can also see our own galaxy, the Milky Way. Well, hi there, Milky Way! The big white cloud we see in the northern hemisphere during the summer are stars which are found between the Earth and the centre of our galaxy, the Milky Way. We can also see the planets in our solar system. Oh! Hello, Venus! Hello, Mercury! OK, Hello. that's enough! Oh, can we see them all? Only those that are on our side of the sun and only on certain nights. There's also the moon. When it's there. But not when there's a new moon. But without going on, oh master, everything moves so slowly we get the impression that nothing really moves. One has to be patient. So what do we really see move with the naked eye? About 50 years ago, we sent thousands of satellites into space. Many of them are too small or too far away to be seen. But the International Space Station, American spacecraft and Russian rockets can be seen with the naked eye. They orbit the Earth quite low down, at a height of around 200 to 300 miles. And at night we can see them cross the sky because they're lit up by the sun. When a shiny object crosses the sky slowly, we know it's a satellite and not an aeroplane because planes have flashing lights. So a plane flashes, a satellite doesn't. And what else can we see in the sky? Shooting stars? Yep. Shooting stars are really stones or rocks that burn up when they enter the atmosphere too quickly. Whee! Poof, 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 poof. There are two kinds of shooting stars. The first type are clouds of dust grains left by very old comets as they were orbiting the Earth. When the Earth moves through these clouds, we can see the most spectacular show of shooting stars. OK, so that's why we get nights of shooting stars then. Yep, but there's a second type of shooting star, meteorites. Rocks that come from all over space any time of the year and which burn up entering our atmosphere. And another thing we can see in the sky, either by night or by day, that isn't a cloud or a plane, or a helicopter, or a shooting star, or a satellite, is a UFO. In other words, an unidentified flying object. A flying saucer? Unidentified means we don't know. So, are UFOs really from outer space? What do you think? But you've forgotten one thing. Flying dogs. <laughs> Last night I saw a flying dog. If you ask me, it's probably aliens trying to pass themselves off as us. Huh? Well, it's a great camouflage. Right then, you take some photos and we'll talk about it later. See you next time. So, what can we see moving in the sky at night? Well, the stars, planets and the moon all move, but very slowly. Faster moving things are satellites, spacecraft, rockets, the space station and shooting stars. And finally, there are UFOs, but no one seems to know if they really exist or not.